Yeah, how do you like that? Start with the hiccups, right? I've been having them all morning. And I was doing a couple recordings there, and yeah, the hiccups got in the way. So excuse me. Anyway, hey guys, it's been a while. I was supposed to do an update for you guys, among other things, but it just didn't quite happen. I got sick with the nasty flu bug that's been going around, and I was out of commission from work and a lot of other things. But I am back, and in effect... I feel much better. I've been taking my meds and just taking it easy, but I am getting back into the swing of things. Um, I've been in the process of doing some reviews for, um, not reviews, interviews and reviewing jobs um, for myself. I'm actually looking to either do another company or maybe a, a career change. And I've had a couple interviews. I did have one that wanted me, but it was just too early in the game. And it just didn't seem right, especially that for you know, that first offer. It's usually a little bit better to wait a little bit just to see what's going on. And when you have a job, you're able to be much, much pickier in that regard. So that's a good thing there. Um, speaking of that, my boyfriend, he's still on his job search. He's had a couple hits, but he hasn't really had any callbacks. And that's what we're hoping for now. I know he's going to go out and he's going to... Um, He's basically going to be taking care of that. And uh, cross your fingers and let's hope he gets something very soon. Um, a bit of good news on my side is that I am now the official copy editor for Vape Magazine. I met with the main editor, Cor Corey Knowles. He happened to be in town for B VPX Detroit, which I did not go to because I do not like trade shows like that. Especially if you have to pay 25 bucks at the door and... <laughs> The quality is not as good. And plus, it doesn't feel like you can really connect or reconnect with people that you know in the industry. So, having said that, um, we met at my friend's vape shop, Vape Escape Westland. And at Vape Escape Westland, they bought his stuff. Um, they're going to try to sell it and distribute it. Um, he stayed longer than he needed to, which that makes a good business deal. Apparently, he had a pretty good luck um, with distribution and everything here in Michigan, because Michigan's a pretty big market for vaping. And uh, him and I had a chat, we talked shop, and he, he said, yeah, I'm looking for this copy editor, would you like to do this? And I said, you know what? Yeah, why not? I will. And I am. So basically, I'm one of the first people that gets articles to help proofread and edit, then I send it on to Corey, as well as the other editor. Sir Chris, and basically it's a, I'm an addition to the team, so besides writing, I'm also editing. How cool is that, right? <laughs> and excuse me with the hiccups, I sound like I'm drunk. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking time off from my, my uh, work schedule. Today it's been kind of a light day, or otherwise I wouldn't be able to. Um, I've had to get back into the fray because of sickness, and it's just, I feel like I'm getting mixed messages. A little bit with work saying okay you need to make corrections but try not to be too serious or take your job seriously and yeah I pretty much got called on the carpet for that so in any event guys that's what's going on here um, if you want to know where to find me you got me on the angel Rider creations channel where I once in a while do a little podcast thing um, you can find me on my website angelwritercreations.com and also on my show at Vape TV Live at VapeTV.com, excuse me again, <laughs> where I um ooh, where I do my show Fridays 10 p.m. So hope to see you around and keep in touch and stay healthy everyone because it's nasty out there.